Oh, see, there's some more. Wonderful, wonderful. Yay, more people. You might be one of my biggest fifth grade crosses. Good job, guys. All right. I'm going to give them like half a minute. Ha 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 ha. See, I say that and more people show up. All right. Now we're at 20 people. Good job. And it is five minutes after. So I'm going to turn off my music. And we are going to get started. I'm double checking to make sure I have written down who is here and who is not. So again, if you have your sketchbook or anything to draw on, <laughs> then go ahead and get ready because if you do the project today in class and you show me on the Zoom, you don't have to do it for your homework. And we are almost completely filled up. I am very impressed. Wonderful. So we've got two friends who just came in. Poor Zana, she's heard me say this like 500 times. If you have a sketchbook or anything to draw with, go ahead and get it ready because if you do the project today in class and you show me, then you don't have to do it for homework. All right, uh, let me get started over here. I'm going to get rid of my Bitmoji class. Last week, we started talking about emotions in art and how artists have shown emotions just by sh looking at a picture. Um, if you, you guys had the video, <laughs> you guys had the video to watch last week for me. So we didn't get to talk about it in class. If you would like to unmute yourself and tell me what kind of emotions you see in one of these pictures. Uh, I see. Uh... I see happiness. I see one that's happy too. Uh, which one do you think? Why do you tell you that it's happiness? How do you know it's happiness? Because it has warm colors. Good. That's a really good point because if it's got a lot of blue or if it's got a lot of like uh, real or gray, things like that, people probably don't look at it and go, oh wow, that's a lot of, those are bright and beautiful colors usually blue and gray and dark colors are associated with, you know, feeling kind of sad or things like that. Um, so yes, we've got someone who says they see something with happiness. I'm going to go through the people who have raised their hand. Madison, what's something you see? Angry-ish happy. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of a, uh, which is, could be anger. It could be mad it could be sad sometimes when you get really upset you just mm, you have that feeling uh nigel what you see bud um i see with uh, um one with a lot of people yes what kind of emotion do you get from it um happiness good all right lorian what you see depression yeah and it's very, it's very hard hitting artwork. I'm, I'm actually really happy that my fifth graders can see these things and understand it. Madison, you got some more to tell us? Um, the last one is that yeah, looks like togetherness. Yeah, that's good. Zaina, what you got for me? Whoops. Um, from the video, all the happy ones were different, but all the sad ones had only one person in it in the front. That's a really good point. Usually, when people, I mean, sometimes when people get really sad, they just want to be by themselves. But it can be, you know, when you're happy, a lot of times you want to share it with people. So there's people, there's more than one person in the happy ones. I like that. That's a really good one to note. All right. Uh, where's my turning? There we go. So we started learning about the artist Romero Brito. And I think I have an update, not an update, but a, no. Um, so Romero Brito is a Brazilian American artist who is still alive, lives down in Florida, and he still makes uh, large pictures. Like his pictures are actually really big, I found out. Uh, sometimes he'll paint on a wall and make it really big. Sometimes he just has uh, like good poster sized artwork. And we talked about how one of our own fifth graders 
inspired me to kind of change our project. And instead of working on um, what were, it was going to be something about, uh, oh, you were going to be doing an endangered animal art, we changed something that we could send or we could use to help inspire hope and happiness in other people. And that was a really cool idea. I was actually really impressed with it. And the other fifth grade teachers were like, yes, go for it, do it. So let's look at some of his artwork again. His artwork tends to have a lot of very bright colors. He's got a lot of patterns. But when you look at his people, or actually, if you just look at his, uh, his artwork in general, does it look super realistic? You can go ahead and unmute and tell me. No. No, no, no. it doesn't. In fact, no. to me, it looks a lot like a cartoon. And that is something I thought you guys could work with. Nigel, what you got for me? Nope, okay. So we're going to practice today looking at his people and we're going to practice drawing two people. Well, we'll see, maybe just one. Um, you'll want to have more than one person in your pictures, but we're going to at least practice one. So just for a moment, take about 10 seconds and really look at his people. And I want you to come up with things that you notice about them. There's patterns. They're what now? There's patterns. There are patterns. Fantastic. Anything else? Anybody notice things about their people? Madison, what you got? You can tell me, Madison. I said they're always smiling. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't hear you. Say it again, babe. They're always smiling, happy. And they happy. are. Good job. Nigel, what do you see? Um, they're friends. Yes, they look like they get along. Zaina, what you got? There are a lot of random shapes everywhere. Yes, very good. Franklin, what you got? They're all hugging. There, there is usually something that they have in their hands. Uh, Muhammad, what do you got? Uh, they're different races. I'm sorry, say that again. They're different races. Very good. And Staley, what you got for us? They um, they have different like colors and different like hair and like orange and yellow in their hair and their clothes. Great. All right, I'm going to have to stop sharing this so I can share my document camera with you. So if you have your sketchbook, don't get started yet. Watch me first, and then you'll have time to practice. So I'm going to stop sharing that, and I'm going to share my document camera. Give me a thumbs up if you can see my hand sitting on top of the sketchbook. Cool. Melina can. Looks like Staley can. Good. If you can see that, I'm going to assume, if they can see that, I'm going to assume everyone else can. That looks a little bit better. So when we looked at his people, I want to point out, let's start with their heads first. One of the, they don't have circle heads. Oops, that's really bright. And that's really light. Um, let me see if I can draw better. So you can see better with the, um, so there we go. He doesn't have some straight up circles. In fact, most of his people have pointed chins. To me, it looks kind of like he's starting to draw an anime or a manga character. So when you start drawing some of his people, start with a face that kind of looks like, it's not quite a triangle, kind of looks like, the home base from a baseball field, but it's the letter V with two lines 
coming up from the side. So I'm going to end up drawing two people right now. And you can practice this with me, but try not to get ahead. So when we see his pictures of the people with their hair, the, yes, you got it, Madison. They usually have square or kind of pointed faces. We don't see a lot of his artwork with open eyes. They either have eyes that are like they're going, like they're smiling so much, their eyes are closed, or they're kind of peaceful and they've got their eyes closed. If you want to practice and do something with um, eyes open, you can practice that, but for right now, just watch and see what we've got. Um, he's drawn two different kinds of noses. There are the noses that come down and they make like the letter L and they have one nostril or he's just done nostril and nostril. And then like a lot of people pointed out, <laughs> they're all smiling. I mean, I don't think I've seen anybody in this pictures who don't have a smile. So right now we have two different kinds of faces. They're very happy faces. You can both tell because they're smiling, but we got one that looks like he's just, oh, yeah, I'm so happy. And another one that's just kind of like, oh, nice and peaceful. That's the first part. When it comes to hair, you have to think about if it's going to be a boy or a girl. For the boys, I've noticed he does kind of these like triangles that come down across the forehead and they have like soup, little hair up at the top, but then his comes down. It's like a short haircut. And for girls, he tends to have one big part of their hair and then they'll have the other half of their hair. So you decide which one you're going to be drawing. If you're going to be drawing a girl, you can go for the hair like that. If you want to draw a boy, you can go and uh, you can draw the hair like that. Please remember, even though we're doing this right now, in a few minutes, I'm going to put the pictures that he drew back up and you can look at them again and you can add your own things to it. So this is kind of funny to me. I haven't seen a lot of necks in his artwork. Usually his people are like holding on to something or they've got their arms up and you don't see their, their neck that much. So I'm going to draw a little bit of a neck, just a little bit. And then I'm going to add circle or a half circle underneath. This shows you, so if I'm looking, I can, there we go. So straight line, straight line, a little bit of a circle underneath. And I'm gonna draw arm or the shoulder and then shoulder going that way. And I'm really just going to, for the woman, so these are her short sleeves. And I'm going to draw, like, looks like she has a dress on. Now the guy is gonna be kind of behind her. And you won't be able to see all of him. So I'm gonna draw short sleeve, shirt. But he's gonna have on some pants like that. We're not looking for super detailed artwork in this part. This is one of the reasons why I really wanted to do work with his art. As long as you're not drawing somebody who's got giant body parts and a tiny head, you should be able to get something done for his. So let's look at his hands. For arms, he hasn't done much. He'll usually have the arm coming out, and then this almost looks like you know kindergarten art, but he'll have one, two, three, and then he'll have. So if this guy is holding something, I 
we just make hands, really big hands that kind of look more like gloves than hands. And she could be, actually, I'm not sure what we're going to have her doing. Let's have her, um, she can have her hand over here. And if she's holding one too, now I did something different with his hand. Her hand is open. His hand I have closed. So I made boom, boom, boom. And I know I keep changing the amount of fingers that are on the hands and that's okay. So that's my easy to practice. Romero Brito artwork. Now, if you do draw feet or anything like that in the picture, let's talk about that. So if I had continued or if I hadn't run out of space, our guy friend up here, he's got really easy, he's usually just really easy to draw feet. That's really about all he does. It kind of looks like they're wearing big clown shoes, but it works. Uh, let me pull up my other picture that I drew. So This is the other one that I drew in the video that is on your um, uh, daily sheets. So you can see, again, similar style. So we have the pointed face. You've got the big eyes, the you know, really happy eyes. Oh, I didn't say if you wanted to, if you're drawing a woman and you want to add some lips to it, that's fine. Uh, I didn't make the guy's hair kind of spiky, but you could if you'd like to. So that's two different ways that you can see. We've got that one and that one. Uh, you guys have, great, you have nine minutes left in class. I'm gonna stop sharing my uh, uh, document camera and I'm gonna go back to showing you the, uh, the artwork. But if you want to take this time and draw, and if you say something to me and then you show me your picture, you don't have to do the artwork. I mean, you don't have to do it as homework anymore because this is your work time right now. Try and get one person done for me. Just one. You don't have to do two. Yes, we are working on people right now. So if you want to leave the Zoom so that you can work on it on your own without me talking to you, that's fine. If you want to stay in the Zoom and show it to me, that's also fine. If you do not show me your artwork now, you do have to make sure it goes into your Google assignment. But if you show it to me today, you don't have to do it in your Google assignment. So you've got, well, eight minutes now. So I'm gonna, every now and then, I'm gonna flip back and forth between his pictures. Actually, let me see if I can do something. I wanna see if I can make another PowerPoint and just put all four pictures because that would be helpful. Uh, Mohammed, let me focus in a little bit more on your picture because I am trying to see. Yes, that is looking good. Try and get some arms on him. Friends, can you show me how to do it again? Because um, I, I logged off because my computer turned off. Uh, I'm going to guess this is Aisha talking to me. So I will have a very hard time getting, uh, I don't know if I can show how to do it again and keep the picture up on the board. So what we may have to do, Aisha, is let me talk through it a little bit. I'm going to just put that on top of I'm going to leave this up here so people can see. There we go. So you guys can look at that. And um, let me think for just a moment. So yes, if you want to look at his picture or his people, that's going to stay there. Portion of screen. So we're going to put that portion of the screen. 
give me a thumbs up if you can still see his people. Cool, Franklin can. <laughs>